I like my food too much, so I'm not going on a diet. Hello peeps, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you're probably watching this because you've either missed today, it's glorious weather, and seeing that everyone else is flying. Maybe you're one of the few that's actually working for a living now. Who knows? But today I want to talk about weight limits. Reason being is that I'm currently shopping for a new wing. I've already decided that it's going to be a BGD Cure 2. Uh, in medium large size with an ideal weight range of 93 kilos to 105 and I didn't want to be at the top end of that so what I've done is I've looked at every other way that I could possibly lose weight without giving up on my food and I'm currently with all my standard gear at 104.1 kilos so you'd say yeah I'm in that ideal weight range not a problem I'd like to be a little bit lower just the way I want to be. I want to have that room to change the weight depending on what I'm wearing, depending on the drink or food I'm taking with me. And just nice to be able to have a little bit more leeway. I'm also used to flying at a lower weight range anyway. My last glide I was at the very bottom at 103 kilos. Uh, we've limited up to 120. So I've managed to get the weight down. I'm now currently with all my gear. 101.7 kilos doesn't sound like much but it's over two kilos and i think it's a decent decent drop without having to go on a diet how did i do it so the first thing i done was more because it's a comfort thing than a weight thing is i've changed my backpack the standard backpack you get with bgd glider the one that i got is a large to fit a medium large wing or even a large wing and it's 180 liters and on top of that, it's a 1.2 kilograms in weight. So I wanted to change the bag to the BGD Sherpa, the medium size, which is 100, 100 liters. And that was more for comfort, being able to hold everything in place, not walk, not wobbling around, not bouncing off my ass as I walk. But it also, this is sub 400 grams. So I've lost quite a lot of weight just doing the bag. Two. Next thing I've done is I looked at my helmet. Now I like my helmet. I like the full face. It's got a nice big visor, plenty of view. There's no issues with it whatsoever. But when you're looking at reducing weight at 0.9 kilos, it is one of the things that's at the top end. So I picked up a half face helmet that I got at home, 400 grams. That drops the weight right down as well by half a kilo. Real simple thing to do there is just look at the weight of the helmet you're wearing. The final thing that I'd done is I actually looked at the clothing that I was wearing. Now a lot of people have their regular clothes, they just turn up, they go flying. Some people turn up and they wear a flight suit. Perfect, that works for them. Now I was turning up in a normal hoodie, t-shirt, combat trousers, boots. It's the one thing I've always flown in. It's just comfortable, pockets for everything, no issues. But then I found out that my trousers alone weighed one kilo. So I got myself some 25 pound hiking trousers from Decathlon that weighed 380 grams. Another massive weight saving. So all in all, I've only done three things, very little effort, not too much money. And I've managed to reduce my weight from 104.1 kilos down to 101.7. And that is a little bit of difference that I wanted to be able to get myself a little bit lower in the ideal weight range of the next glider. It also helps with the current glider as well, and it's less to carry on your back. More comfortable as well. So maybe if you want to look at a new glider, or maybe you're looking at fitting within the weight range of your current glider, if you put on some COVID weight, just look at what you're wearing, look at what you're carrying in, and that may well save you a lot of money.